In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can find the slope between two points when we do not have a graph to use to count the rise and the run. We have a formula for slope, and the, where this formula comes from, we always use m for slope, is we know slope is the rise over the run. Well, really the rise, moving up and down, is the amount of change we have in the y values, and the run, moving to the left and right, is the change in the x values. And the way we can calculate how much things change is we subtract them. For example, if my son was 50 inches last year, and this year he was 52 inches, to find the amount of change, we would do 52 minus 50 and find out he grew 2 inches. The way we find the change is we will subtract the two y values, we'll say y2 minus y1, over the change in the x values, or the second x minus the first x. And this is going to be where our formula for slope comes from. So when we have these points at the top on the left here, negative 4, 3, and 2, negative 9, and we want to know the slope that connects them, we will simply identify that we'll call the one on the left the first point and the one on the right the second point. And we know a point is made up of x, comma, y, x, comma, y. So if the slope formula is y2 from the second point and y1, from the first point, over x2, from the second point, minus x1, we simply have to see what number corresponds with each part. y2 is the y from the second point, negative 9, minus y1, which is the y value from the first point, 3. Over x2, the x value from the second point is 2, minus x1, which is the x from the first point, negative 4. Now we simply have to combine the numerator. Negative 9 minus 3 is negative 12. Subtracting a negative in the denominator is the same as adding a positive. 2 plus 4 is 6. And we get a fraction we can reduce to find the slope of this fraction, or I'm sorry, the slope of these points is negative 2. Let's do one more example, where we plug our points into the slope formula to find the slope between the two points. This formula that you will want to commit to memory is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So again, we'll clearly identify 4, 6, and 2, negative 1. The 4, 6 will be my first point, the 2, negative 1 is my second point, and we know that they are x, y pairs, x, y pairs. And so when I look at the formula and I see y2, that means the y from the second point. The y value from the second point is negative 1, minus y1. The y value from the first point is 6. Over x2, the x value from the second point is 2, minus x1, the x value from the first point is 4. Negative 1 minus 6, then, is negative 7, and 2 minus 4 is negative 2. We can reduce that fraction to find our slope. A negative divided by a negative is a positive 7 halves. The slope between these two points is 7 halves. By remembering the formula that slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, we can quickly plug our values from our points into the formula and find the slope between any two points.